Good evening and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing a vocation beer. This one is a part of my big vocation parcel that I got. Um, it's one of the newer beers, or it's new to me, I've not really seen it. This one is called Day Trip and it is a 5% pale ale and it says it's hazy, juicy and hoppy. And that's it right there. Cannot looks quite nice, it looks relaxing, looks chilled, um, looks quite nice. I don't remember how much this cost. I think this one was on an offer for about £2.30 or something like that. So fairly cheap for a vocation beer. Um, there we go. Um, yeah, so I threw it in. It should be interesting. It's not really a strong one, which is one of vocation's specialties. But they do make some really nice weak stuff as well. Or weak air stuff. Um, lower and low altitude are both really nice. Um, that one with the skeleton on the island, I can't remember, it was with Mash Gang. That was quite a nice one. Um, so they can do, they've got a broad range. Um, the guff on the back of this one says, Take a trip to a blue lagoon with this easy pale ale. Brewed, uses, brewed using London Fog yeast for a hoppy cruise of fruity flavour and a velvety finish. Juicy, hazy and full of character. Hop aboard and take it chilled. Mosaic and Gal Galaxy make a splash with... Bold notes of citrus, peach, passion fruit flavours, and um, a hoppy aroma and hints of pine. It says all that right there. And then obviously there's the your beer or vocation sort of thing. Um, so yeah, that's all the guff. That's the side. It doesn't say whether it's a vegan beer or not, so I'm going to assume that it isn't. I know it does. It does. It just doesn't have the vegan logo, which is a massive V with a leaf on the end. It's just written there in white. On a on a blue, really light blue background says suitable for vegan. So it is a vegan beer, just doesn't have the usual logo, which I don't know why. I think they should just throw a logo on. Anyway, I'm not here to get caught up with cans and stuff. Let's crack it open and see what we've got. Have you seen that bit of smoke there? Right, look at that. That looks quite nice, that. So, we have got a nice straw yellow hazy beer with a compact white head. Looks lovely. It's no floaters, but I haven't emptied the can, so we'll find out in a bit. Um, it looks quite crisp, quite refreshing. Um, yeah, let's get a smell and see what we get, shall we? Oh, passion fruit, definitely. Right there on the nose. Grapefruit, pine, a little bit of pineapple, oranges. A little bit of stone fruit as well. That smells really, really nice, that. It smells sweet and fruity and juicy. Let's um, get a mouthful for body and carb. Carb's medium, body's quite light. It's like drinking Pepsi or Coke. So far, so good. Um, let's get a big old taste. Cheers. Like I said, I know it was going to be crisp. I know it was going to be refreshing. Juicy, fruity, all of them. This is definitely, definitely summer beer. Um, and unfortunately, it's no longer summer. It's late September. As you can see, it's dark outside. There we go. It's dark outside, so this is, really isn't the beer for this weather. But, middle of summer, barbecue. Get a couple of these in a tub of ice. Be sorted. Um, Flavour-wise, you've got pineapple. Um, you've got passion fruit. Uh, stone fruit. You've got peaches, plum. You've got citrus, orange, grapefruit. It's really, really, really juicy, exotic. Oof, pardon me. Um, yeah, it's got, like it said, the velvety finish. It is. It's not dry. It's it's quite smooth. Quite. Um, pardon me. Yeah, smooth. I bet. I guess is the best way to put it. That's nice, though. There's a very, very mild bitterness in this. 
that I wasn't expecting, and it is throughout the beer. It doesn't really linger after the drink, um, but it is. It's only a very, very mild, bitter uh, backbone to it. Which, like I say, I wasn't really expecting. I was, I was expecting a really, really juicy beer, but a little curveball is quite nice, especially when it's done well and it's subtle. And this has it. This is nice and subtle uh, bitterness because it's got such juicy, fruity flavours to it. I think it's great. I think, um, yeah, like I said before, middle of summer, you know, when we had that heat wave of 40 degrees down in London and stuff, these should have been selling, and I pro they probably were, but these should have been going straight out the window. They were, that is perfect summer beer weather. Um, summer beer drinking. Summer weather beer drinking. There you go. I haven't had that much, I promise. Anyway, um, yeah, that's. I think that's a fantastic beer. So, I think with that, I'm going to go away and enjoy this because it is a nice beer. It's, like I say, fruity, juicy, all that stuff. Um, basically, what I said before. So, um, Vocations Day Trip, a pale ale out with 10. I think for pale ales, as far as they go, this one is definitely a 9. I think it's fantastic. It is a really, really, really nice drink. Um, it's fantastic, yeah, it's really nice though. I wasn't expecting it to be that nice. I thought it was just going to be a standard pale ale, but yeah, I'm very impressed with that one. So, if you have had this before, please let me know. Let me know what you think. If you like it, if you don't. If you've not had it, I'll leave a link to Vocations website down below. Like I said, when I got mine, um, it cost me like £2 something, so it's quite cheap compared to some of the Vocation beers, and some of them cost a bit of money. Um, so yeah, two pounds for a five percent, really good pale ale. You, it's a bargain. Anyway, link will be down below if you want any vocation, as usual. If you like the video though, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so because the show must go on, etc., etc., so on and so forth. And I'll see you later.